You're ready to start planning your week, but maybe you don't know how to start. You're, maybe you're new to this whole planner world, or it's just been a while since you've been in a paper planner, or maybe you're just like checking out how other people plan their week. Look no further. I will be showing you how I plan my week in my Sprouted Planner. By the end of this video, you will feel confident to start planning your week too. For the best advice on how to use your planner, and how to live an intentional life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell to be notified when I put out videos every month. I've used a paper planner for about 14 years and so I've really honed in my skills on how I plan my week. I'm a really functional planner. I don't use a lot of colors or stickers or things like that. So it takes me about 15 minutes to set up my week. I'm confident you can do this too and have peace of mind going into your week. Before you even open your planner, you're going to decide when is the best time to plan the following week for you. I like to do it on Friday afternoons because that gives me the flexibility of the weekend to get prepared for anything or even get some things done that I had planned for the week ahead. Otherwise, I tend to do it on Sundays or even Monday mornings, but my favorite is Friday afternoon. So figure out a time that works best for you and what works in the best cadence of your life and your planning style. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I do is set intentions. So at the very top of the planner, I write my intentions for the week. Since it was a crazy last couple of weeks, I really wanted to prioritize rest and I will be taking down all my Christmas stuff too. So rest and organization. Next, I write down what I have going on in the week. I use my monthly spread to really plan in advance. So if I make any plans, I put it on my monthly spread. And then when I plan for the week, I look back on that um, in order to write everything down. I don't typically uh, plan or write down everything that I do in the day. It's just things that I have going on. So um, my daughter's back in preschool and I have a couple or I have a phone meeting and a get together. So those are the type of things that I write down in my monthly spread and then I move them over to my weekly calendar the week of. Then I add my meals and my meal plan for the week. I always meal plan usually Thursday or Friday morning because I always go shopping, grocery shopping, and to Target on Fridays. And so I write down my meals that I'm going to have for the kind of following week on that week. And then when I go and do my plans, I go ahead and just decide which day is going to have which meal. And then I use that third circle on the actual day to write down my meals for the week. After that, I start on my to-do list. The first thing I do is look at last week's to-do list and see if there's anything that I didn't finish and I move it over to um, the this upcoming week that I'm planning. I use a little arrow, um, so a little forward arrow to mean that I didn't do it and I moved it forwards. Um, you don't have to do that, that's just what I do. And so I go through that and do that first. Before I get into the last couple steps of planning my week, I wanna know how you do your to-do list. Do you write your to-do list daily, weekly? Do you just do a brain dump or do you do some other process? Let me know in the comments below. Then I double check my priorities and see what tasks I want to do this week that align with them. Um, again, since I'm resting this week that I don't put a whole lot on there, but I did want to double check that and make sure that I am adding some of those onto my to-do list. Next up, I look at my emails and see if there's anything pending in there that I want to be doing so I can keep my inbox clean. And then just other miscellaneous things that I know that I have to do this week or want to get done this week. 
So I do kind of thinking both in a personal to do's and I do that first and then I move over to planners and my business and I list out what I want to be doing um, that week as part of the as part of my business and part of my um, kind of how I plan this out and how not to go crazy is I kind of plan what I want to get done um, and then or what I know I can get done rather and then just a little bit further so I want to push it a little bit but not where I'm going to feel like a complete <laughs> failure if I don't get it done so I want to push myself a little bit um, but I don't want to go crazy either lastly I take a peek at my year list and see if there's anything on there that I want to be planning or doing that week um, again since this is the week of rest I don't add anything and that is really my planning of the week in a nutshell if you are liking the layout of the Sprouted Planner, be sure to head over to my website, SproutedPlanner.com, and pick up a planner of your own. Check out some of these other videos that I think you will like. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Until next time, thanks everybody! Hey everybody, have you heard the news? I broke my arm, she broke her arm. So do you remember that? It's from SNL, Emma Stone hosted, and she did that skit about breaking like her arm and then her other arm, and then eventually she was in a whole body cast. That was so long ago, but we still sing that song in our house. <laughs>